Thank you for your introduction, Stefan. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining my talk today. I'm Jiwon Choi, a second year PhD student, also working under Dr. Florian Wolomitzer. Today, I'll introduce an accurate eye tracking from deflectometric information using deep learning. Eye tracking is an important feature in many areas of study. Eye tracking is used in commercial AR, VR, and MR devices for a foveated rendering. By rendering only a certain field of view, a power and resource efficient solution can be achieved. It is also important in neuroscience research since this eye tracking can determine where people focus on. So let's take a look at a state-of-the-art eye tracking method, which is called glint tracking. Here you illuminate point light sources um, on the cornea and you look at the reflection of these. But the point light sources here are very sparse, usually less than 12 points. What if I say there is a method that can acquire 3,300 times more points than glint tracking? By illuminating a full screen as a light source, our deflectometry-based method can measure over 40,000 points in single shot. By having more surface points, this yields more accurate measurement. So this technique is called deflectometry, and it's an optical metrology technique to measure specular surface. So you first illuminate this sinusoidal pattern on the specular surface, and the surface is reflected and being deformed and captured by the camera. By obtaining camera display correspondence map, we can finally calculate the surface normal vector based on arrival and reflectance vectors. We proposed two deflectometry-based eye tracking approach in past, but both of them got some drawbacks. So the first we proposed is a classical stereo deflectometry-based eye tracking. Um, this has highest accuracy with a gaze error of 0.25 degrees, but its setup requires two cameras. This is due to the normal depth ambiguity issue. As seen in this figure, this uh, single camera setup will return a multiple possible surface normals. So we proposed another approach, which can only utilize a single camera. This optimization-based inverse rendering approach tries to minimize the distances between real and virtual face maps by optimizing the location of the eye and the shape of the eyeball. However, this requires a prior knowledge of a shape of the eye. To overcome these drawbacks, I'll now introduce a novel flavor of our deflectometry eye tracking based on deep learning. But here comes a challenge for deep learning. What is a good training data set here? Of course, I can go to the lab upstairs and take a picture of my, the, my colleague's eye, but I don't know their precise gaze direction and I don't know the shape of their eyes. So we generated our data set with a, with a dig simulated digital twin setup. With simulation, we can easily generate a photorealistic data with lots of different shape of the eyeballs as well as the ground truth for the gaze directions. Instead of intensity image, for the input for our data set, um, the neural network, we use a vertical and horizontal correspondence maps, which is camera screen correspondence maps, obtained through 2D continuous wavelet transform. We choose to train on correspondence maps because it can prevent learning secondary features on the eye, like wrinkles and veins. This is the overview of our deep learning based eye tracking. Um, our convolutional neural network takes an input of these correspondence map pair and outputs a gaze vector. Uh, if you're interested in our um, convolutional neural network structure, then refer to our paper below here. To quantitatively validate our deep learning based gaze estimation method, we conduct a real world experiments on a realistic eyeball model mounted on a rotation stage. So here's how it works. We set a base rotation at zero degree and then rotate the eyeball model around to the specified angles. But we cannot have the actual gaze direction, so instead we calculated the relative angle from zero degree as our reference point to the rotated angle position. The result in a table shows that our evaluated gaze error is always less than one degree. So to conclude, deep learning based eye tracking method using deflectometry revealed promising first results.
Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and visit our group website for other projects as well. And if you're interested, also check out our PI's uh, past IA talks. And thank you for, again for your attention.